everybody. Um, today I will be showing you how to make this lace pineapple scarf. It's also a triangular model with a pom-pom edging. the edging. For this scarf I used Alisa Angora gold yarn in black but to show you today I will be using white because that's easier to see. For this scarf I have used a rather smaller hook, um, 1.75 millimeter hook. You can do it with a 2 millimeter, that, that will be fine. We begin with a chain 4. So here's our slip stitch. Sorry, our slip knot. Chain four. One, two, three, four. We slip stitch to the first chain to make a ring. Chain three. And then we are going to put three double crochets into the ring. One. Two, three, chain three, three double crochets again, one, two, three, chain three, and three double crochets again. One, two, three, and then again. So we need four sets of three double crochets. Chain three, and then this will be the last set of three double crochets into the ring. Like this. Okay. Our edging. So we chain three, one, two, three, and then we turn always. Our edging, always the same. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Two, three, chain three, three double crochets, two and three. Then we chain three, one, two, three, and into the chain three space here we are putting a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and we do our edging. Three double crochets. Chain three. And again, three double crochets. Chain three, turn our work around, do the edging again. Chain three, 
one, two, three. On top of this double crochet, we make a V stitch. The V stitch here is a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. So let's go ahead and do that. Double crochet, one, two, three chains, and a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and our edging. Chain three, turn the work, edging. Now, chain three, one, two, three, ten double crochets into the V stitch. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain three, one, two, three, edging. Okay. Chain three, one, two, three. We're going to put a double crochet in between each double crochet of the previous row. We're not going on top of the double crochets, not into them, but in between. Like that. Chain one, in between the next two. Chain one in between, chain one in between, chain one in between, chain one in between. Chain one in between, chain one in between, chain one in between. That was the last one. We should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine chain three, one, two, three, edging. Chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going into the first chain one space with a single crochet and we chain three, one, two, three. Then we go with a single crochet in the next chain one space, chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the next one, chain three, one, two, three. And we continue on like this until we've reached the last 
chain one space. And then we chain three, one, two, three, then we do our edging. Okay, now the next row we will start increasing. So chain three, turn to work, do our edging, one, two, three, chain three, and then three double crochets again, one, two, three. Now here we will increase. To do that, we will chain three here, and we are going back into this space with another set of three double crochets. One, two, three. So now we have this here. This is our edging, and this space here we can start another pineapple. Okay, chain three, single crochet in the first chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next space, chain three, single crochet in the next space, chain three, single crochet in the next space and so on until we've reached the last space and then we chain three one two three now here we are increasing again so we need an extra set of three double crochets in this space here where we put our edging. So that's the first set, chain three. This is the second set that I'm making now. Now we chain three again and we put the third set in for the increase. One, two, three. And the increase will always happen on the row where we put our second single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three onto our pineapple. So this here was the first row of single crochet chain three single crochet chain three when we reach the second row where we're going to put our single crochet chain three single crochet chain three we need to increase so three sets of double crochets instead of just two for the edging okay chain three Turn the work around and do our edging. Now we chain three and into this chain three space we will start our next pineapple. So we've chained three and then we've we come to this space here and we're going to do our um edging pattern again here so around every 
pineapple. I will show you. We have these swirls of edging. They're the same as the start and beginning edge that we put alongside the scarf. So they're the same. They're a chain three, sorry, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. So that's being repeated throughout the scarf, not just at the start and the end of each row. So here we put it, um, as I said, three double crochets. Chain three, three double crochets. Okay. Chain three, single crochet into the first space, chain three. Single crochet into the next one, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, and then our edging. Okay, so here we are going to start our next two pineapples, here and here. So we started our pineapple here with a double crochet into the chain three space. So we're going to do that here as well. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet into the chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Chain three. Single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Chain three, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the chain three space, chain three, edging. Now, chain three, V stitch on top of the chain, on top of the double crochet, 
So the V stitch is double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Chain three, three double crochets, uh, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Now, same as here, chain three, V stitch on top of this double crochet, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three. Edging Now we do the same as we did here in the V stitch We're going to make 10 Double crochets So first we chain three one two three and then 10 double crochets into the v-stitch that's 10 chain 3 3 double crochets chain 3 3 double crochets Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Chain three. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets, chain three, ten double crochets into the V stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Edging Chain three double crochet in between these double crochets chain one in between the next two chain one in between the next two Chain one in between the next two, chain one in between, chain one in between, chain one in between. 
be joining you. Chain one in between, chain one in between. Chain three, one, two, three, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Chain three, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets, chain three, here's the second pineapple of our row, again, in between the double crochets, we put a double crochet, and we chain one, in between the next two, chain one, in between the next two, and that's the last one. We should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain three, edging. Chain three, one, two, three, and here we start with our single crochet into the space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, single crochet, okay, chain three, and the usual, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. We have only one space now. We go into that one with a single crochet and then we chain three and we do the usual. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, single crochet into the space, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, edging. Okay, the next row we will need to increase. Chain three, turn to work. Now we need three sets of double crochets in this space instead of just the regular two. So this is the normal, 
two sets of double crochets. We chain three and we go back into that space for another set. One, two, three. Then we chain three, single crochet into the space, chain three, single crochet into the space, chain three, single crochet into the space, and so on. Here, chain three. One, two, three, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Now, there's no spaces left. Our pineapple is finished. So what we are going to do is we're going straight into this space here for our normal three double crochets. Chain three, three double crochets. Like that. Chain three. Oops. we did at the start of this row. Remember to increase. So three sets of double crochets. Sorry, three sets of three double crochets separated by chain three space. That's the first. Second set, and the third set. Normal edging, chain three, into which we will start building our next pineapple on the next row. Here, chain three, excuse me, here, dub three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. And we go into the space with a single, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Then we chain three, one, two, three. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. And now we're going to chain three because that will give us the space again to create another pineapple. So we will make three. One, two, uh, three. Three pineapples will follow these two. So we're going to chain three. One, two, 
three. And here the usual three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. And here we continue our building our other pineapple, chain three. And here we go again with the single crochets and the chain three spaces. Chain three, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Chain three, three and our edging. So that's the pattern. Here we do, um, here we build three pineapples. So the, the next row will be our edging, then a single double crochet um, in the chain three space here, then the edging repeat again. We continue building our pineapple, edging repeat, double crochet in this chain three space, edging repeat, the pineapple, edging repeat, double crochet in the chain three space, edging. And that is how, and then we do the V stitches on top of the double crochets, then the 10 double crochets and the V stitches then the double crochets in between the 10 double crochets of the V stitches then we start our single crochet chain 3 single crochet chain 3 then the next row is an increase and that is how we continue with the pattern so it's i think it's very pretty um yet simple usually with pineapple patterns it can get rather complicated I've tried to keep it simple. I think it's easy to follow. Okay, so what I did is I um, I pulled out the last two rows that we made so that I can show you how to do the edging. So you should finish your scarf on a row like this where you put the last single crochet in the last chain space um, of the pineapple. So that should be the last row when your scarf is at the desired size. You stop here to start the neck edge. I will show you what it looks like, the neck edge, on the finished scarf. We'll make some picots. So we stop here. We've turned our work, chain three. We did our edging. Now, normally here, we would chain three and go back in to do the increase. But because we are finishing the scarf here, we are not going to put in that increase. We're just going to chain up three, one, two, three, and we're going into this space here with a single crochet. We chain up three, one, two, three, and then I'm going to single crochet around the single crochet I just put into this space. So I'm going to go around the single crochet and single crochet. Then I single crochet into the next space. I chain three and I'm going to go around this single crochet with a single crochet. single crochet in the next space, chain three, around it, here, let's do that again, chain three, I 
I want to go here with a single crochet. Single crochet into the next space. Chain three. Okay. See this here? That's the single crochet. Is this bit here. That is the single crochet. Here is where I want to go with my single crochet. I hope this makes sense. I hope you can see because you should not go in here because then you're just going into that single crochet as we do normally. You need to go around the entire stitch. That includes this, this little loop here. You need to go here, single crochet, now single crochet into the next stitch, chain up three, We need to go here, like that. One more time, sorry, single, single crochet into the next space, chain up three, go around that single crochet with a single crochet. So we get a pico edging here. Then let's see, we chain three, one, two, three. We go in here with our three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Then we go straight into the next as usual. Chain three. And here we make our picots again. Single crochet into the first space, chain three go around not into it not into it around the single crochet and we make a single crochet single crochet into the next space chain three go around it with a single crochet single crochet into the next space chain three Go around it with a single crochet. Chain three and our edging. So that's the neck edge. Don't cut the yarn, we continue on here for the pom-pom edging. Double spider. Into the chain three space with a single crochet, double spider. Into the chain three space with a single crochet, double spider. And you continue on like this until you've reached the opposite side. That's the first edge, sorry, the first row of the edging done. For the next row, uh, we chain one, turn the work around. And double spider.
single crochet in between the double spiders of the previous row, double spider. In between with a single crochet double spider okay chain one turn it around Now, spider, chain four, go in here like a pico, one, two, three, four. Five. Hold on to the yarn here with your thumb. Go through all loops at once. Go through here, the one you were holding on to. Pull the yarn through, yarn over, and go through all the loops. It's the pom pom. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch through the base like that make a spider stitch in between the double spider single crochet I'll show you the pom-pom again We make a spider stitch then we chain four one two three four yarn over go through these two loops as if you were going to make a pico yarn over pull through pull it up high that was once. Yarn over. Go through that again. Those two loops here. Two times. Three times. Four times. Five times. Yarn over. Hold on to the yarn, go through all, go into the loop you've been holding, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all. Chain four, one, two, three, four, through the base, slip stitch, spider stitch. In between the next and you continue on like that until you've reached the other side there we have it lace pineapple triangular scarf I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you have any questions please leave a comment and um, I'll see you in my next video bye